as a nation, Bharat as a nation, there are many achievements that give us pride. Our scientists are going to orbit the Mars, the Mangalyan is happening. Great achievements have been done in various fields, in industry, in commerce, many, many things have been done. But the greatest achievement in this country is that our farmers, without much infrastructure, without any science, from traditional knowledge, they are able to provide food for 1.25 billion people in this country. This is one of the greatest achievements. But the farmer who gives us food, who nourishes our life, is barely nourished, his children are starved and he is committing suicide. How can we… how can I walk with my head held up high when I know that the one who provides food for me is starved out to a point where he wants to take his own life? One who gives me food wants to take his own life. This is a point of great shame. I put my head down in shame and reverence today because somehow we've not been able to take care of this. One of the main issues that are going to be for this nation is that we will have difficulty in protecting the fertility of, this, of the soil in this country. If you want fertility in the soil, lot of organic material has to go in. For this to go in, we need trees and we need animals. We are slaughtering millions of animals and exporting it to other countries. When our soil is slowly dying because there are… there is no leaf and there is no waste from the animals, without these two things we will not be able to preserve the soil, we will only push our farming community into a much worse situation. If we push our farming community to a place where they cannot grow what we need, we will push the nation to a brink of a crisis. Very rapidly it's going. Many scientific studies say in another twenty-five years, you can hardly grow anything in this country if you continue the same practices that we are following right now. Has our greed overtaken us in such a way that our hearts have turned into stone? Have we lost our sense that we are taking away the very source which gives us life? Have we become so short-sighted that we shall forsake the future of our children? Every citizen should commit themselves to do the needed compensatory action. It is our choice that we as a generation of people, will we be just a part of this problem or will we be a part of the solution?